to keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presents the most important news of the day. Saturday, December 9th of 2023. The president of the Dominican Medical College, Waldo Ariel Suero, sworn in for the sixth time in office, bases his speech of the goals for his management based mainly on protecting the physical integrity and rights of doctors, in addition to receiving better salaries. Two weeks after the Deputy Minister of Housing and Buildings, Ney Rafael Garcia Rodriguez, and the First Lady's Office pledged to help Argentina Gonzalez and her daughter with Down syndrome, Ana Gabriela Gonzalez, their promises is still not fulfilled. The Dominican Republic has won the Guinness World Records more than 10 times. The country has achieved records in sports, music, drinking, reading, the most dangerous road, and even the oldest president in history. This Sunday, December the 10th, President Luis Abinader and the Major of the National District, Carolina Mejia, will lead the inauguration of the second and third stages of the Duarte with Paris Street and surroundings, a project designed to dignify the spaces and radically transform the reality of those who trade in that place. The General Directorate of Traffic Safety and Land Transport, Gesset, reported that in the period from June 26 to December 7, it has retained about 1,734 motorcycles for transit and through tunnels, elevated and overpasses in violation of Law 63-17 on mobility, land, transport, transit and road safety. The terminals operated by the company Aeropuertos Dominicano Siglo XXI Aerodom, who closed this year 2023 with more than 6 million passengers mobilized and at Christmas alone the arrival of more than 600,000 travelers, mostly absent Dominicans, is projected. For this and more information you can visit listindiario.com for Listing Diario voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez. To keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presented the most important news of the day.